Hello everyone. Welcome to KBHN Engineering YouTube channel. So uh, today I'm going to teach you about ATA Chapter 23 Electrical System. So uh, general lesson three. So uh, if you are new to my YouTube channel, I'm Kesha Ravi Singh. I'm professional aircraft technician. So uh, uh, if you're still not subscribed my YouTube channel, KBHN Engineering, uh, just subscribe my YouTube channel. And also please share these videos with your friends, relatives, and anyone who like to learn about aircraft maintenance. So um, this is the third lesson. So uh, if you missed the previous lesson, lesson number one and lesson number two regarding AT chapter 23 electrical system, uh, you can just uh, watch these lessons and I have a playlist regarding electrical system. So, uh, okay, so no need to talk a lot. So we will go to the lesson. All right, so today I'm going to learn about, uh, I'm going to teach about uh, AT chapter 23 electrical system, general lesson number three, electrical system main control panel presentation right okay so you can see this is the electrical panel in uh, the ai3 2021 or 319 airbus uh, 320 family aircraft right so you can see this is gen 1 apu gen and external power gen 2 idg1 idg2 right okay so the objective of this lesson is to identify and locate the principal controls and indications on the main control panel right Okay, so the first one is IDG 1 or 2 push button. These are the IDG 1 push button and this is the IDG 2 push button. The same thing happened when we press this uh, IDG 1 or 2 uh, push buttons, all right? So when the IDG push button momentarily pressed, the integrated drive generator is disconnected from its drive shaft. It means if this IDG 1 or IDG 2 push buttons momentarily pressed, then the IDG is disconnected from the integrated drive generator. Sorry, uh, the integrated drive generator is disconnected from its uh, integrated drive generator is disconnected from its drive shaft. All right, just remember, right? When we uh, even when we press the IDG two, is disconnected the uh, engine two uh, IDG two. Okay, right. So it can be only reconnected by maintenance right it cannot be uh, reconnected in the flight so it can only be main, uh, reconnected by maintenance in ground only all right so the next one gen gen one or two push button this is the gen one push button and this is the gen two push button right so in normal operation the gener the generator is energized and the line contactor close when electrical parameters are correct right so when we push this gen one push button then this line contactor is uh, connected right so the line contactor is connect, uh, uh, closed right the line, line contact is closed when the electrical parameters are correct electrical parameters like 400 hertz right so uh, 115 uh, voltage so this kind of electrical parameters if these are all electrical parameters are correct then when we push uh, this uh, when we push this gen one push button then the line contactor close and then it start to energize the aircraft all right so when off when off is de-energized and line contactor opens when we off this push button then the line contactor is open and then de-energize the uh, aircraft electrical system right the same thing happened for a gen 2 also all right next one is apu gen push button this is the apu gen push button so in the normal operation the apu gen is energized under the line contactor closes if the electrical parameters are correct and if the apu generator has a priority okay if if the gen one push uh, if uh, sorry if apu gen is pressed then the line contactor is closed and then the aircraft electrical circuit will be energized and also then the air apu generator has the priority okay so when off the apu generator when off the apu generator uh, is de-energized under the line contact open it means when we off this one then the line contact is open and then de-energize the aircraft electrical system and next one external power push button this is the external power push button when on the external power connects to the electrical network if the electrical parameters are correct and it has priority okay just remember and then the bus tie push button this is the bus tie conductor push button 
so when set to auto when the bus tie contactor is set to auto uh, the tie contact is open or closed the tie contactors are open or closed accordingly uh, auto or open or closed automatically according to the priority to the maintain priority to maintain the power supply to the ac bus 1 and ac bus 2 right so when o when we off this one the bus tie contactors are open right then the bus tie contactors are uh, open when we off this one this will be open when in auto position uh, these are uh, these contactors are open or closed automatically according to the priority to maintain the power supply to the ac bus 1 or ac bus 2 all right okay next one is ac essential feed push button this is the ac essential feed push button so in normal operation the ac essential bus is supplied by ac bus one remember in normal operation ac essential bus is supplied through ac bus one okay when set to alternate ac essential bus is supplied from ac bus two it means when we push this uh, ac essential feed push button the alternate mode then the ac essential bus is supplied from ac bus two all right just remember and then the battery one or two push button these are the battery one or two push buttons in normally normal operation the battery charge limit automatically control the connection and disconnection of the battery to the dc battery bus okay remember in normal operation the battery charge limit automatically controls the connection and disconnection of the battery to the dc battery bus okay so when it's off the battery is disconnected when we when we off this one then the battery is disconnection right so this in here you can see the battery voltage and then the maintenance bus on switch this is the maintenance bus on switch so when the maintenance bus switch is on when maintenance bus switch is on and with only the external power available right when the maintenance bus switch is on and only the external power is available power is available light uh, available green avail light on okay here is the green avail light okay green avail light is on the ac and dc ground flight buses are supplied okay just remember when the maintenance bus switch is on and with only the external power available green avail light is on the ac and dc ground flight buses are supplied and the maintenance bus switch is located in the forward galley area ceiling panel okay uh, if i have a chance i will uh, make a short video and then i will upload where is the maintenance bus is situated all right and then the tally and cabin push button galley and cabin push button here so when set to auto the main and secondary electrical circuit of the galleys are supply when set to auto the main and secondary electrical circuit of the galleys are supply the main electrical circuits automatically right the main electrical circuits automatically shed when only one generator remember on ground all galleys are available on apu or external power when set to off main and secondary electrical circuit of the galleys are shed right two ac and two dc shedable buses for cabin system are also affected by the switch position all right okay so that is the end of this lesson uh, thank you for participating in this lesson this is a very short lesson so the next lesson uh, you will going to learn about the circuit breaker panel location and ecamp page pre presentations regarding at chapter 23 electrical circuit all right so stick with my uh, channel kvation engineering so if you still not subscribe my youtube channel just subscribe and also share this video and also the previous videos with your friends relatives and if someone who want to become a craft technician or aircraft mechanic or aircraft engineer so uh, just uh, and also just follow my facebook uh, page kvation engineering so uh, again thank you for participating in this lesson and then we will meet on next lesson have a good day for all of you